In this short tutorial, we'll be looking at the Roto Brush and Refine Edge tools inside Adobe After Effects. The Roto Brush tool is a tool to use if you want to quickly isolate elements and cut them out from their background. You'll use the Refine Edge tool to fine tune the edges of a Roto Brush selection. In this example, we are going to cut the Kingfisher from its background. We'll start by setting the resolution and fast preview options to full quality. Next, we'll double click the layer to open it up in the layer viewer and then we'll select the Roto Brush tool from the toolbar at the top. Select an appropriate size brush in the brushes panel. Draw inside the Kingfisher to make a selection and notice the pink edge around the object when complete. Click and drag to add to the selection. and hold down the Alt Option key to subtract from the selection. We can check different mask view options to help us visualize the selection by pressing the appropriate buttons here. Press the spacebar to start and stop the analysis and make changes to the selection as needed. You can fine tune the selections further in the effects control panel. To get these edges looking much better, we'll use the refine edge tool to fine tune the edge detail. Select the refine edge tool from the tools panel and set the brush size in the brushes panel as before. Next, we'll draw an outline around the edges of the roto brush selection. As before, we'll press the spacebar to start the analysis. You can adjust the refine edge matte options in the effects control panel if needed. Finally, we'll press freeze to cache and propagate both the roto brush and refine edge tool selections. Now that our Kingfisher is isolated from its background, we can choose a new background from the project window and add it below the Kingfisher layer. We can use the transform properties to make adjustments as needed. I'll finish off by adding a 25% blur to the background layer.